Hi, I'm NASA astronaut Dr. Michael Barrett, and uh, welcome to Mission X. Today we're going to talk about training like an astronaut and how your body changes in space. Did you know that as your body walks around during the day, gravity actually influences shape? It, it can actually make you taller or shorter depending on whether you're standing or lying down. It's really quite amazing. And today I have my good friend, Dr. Sadakar Rajulu here, and he specializes in body shape and body measurements. And there's a new science called anthropometry, which is what Dr. Rajulu does. And I'd like Dr. Rajulu to talk a little bit about what measurements of the human body really mean. Anthropometry is a way to measure uh, body segments, you know, like the height, weight, arm length, circumferences. We use special instruments like uh, tape measures and devices called anthropometer. You know, it's too much to say. Those are the things we use to measure how the body changes on ground as well as in space. So we know that, you know, our body changes in space. And you notice that, that for yourself that you grew about an inch and a half, right? right? Did you notice your arm length also increased or decreased, and how did it change the whole body? Yeah, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice any change in my arm length at all, mm -hmm. and that was important because you, you move around up there by going from one handrail to another, almost right. like a monkey in the tree, mm -hmm. uh, but there was no change in, in the reach, but mm -hmm. there definitely was in the height, so when I would put my toes under a bar on right. the deck, I, I found that I could reach things above my head that I would never be able to reach on Earth. So that, that was, was mostly because of uh, height? Absolutely. Growth. Right. Yeah, just because yeah, my right. height went up, but not mm -hmm. because my arms got bigger. And, and when you think about it, you know, everybody would love to be a little bit taller and have a little bit skinnier waist and a bit, bit of a bigger chest. And, and look also really great. puffy face. Well, uh, except for that. Right. <laughs> That's right. Um, but you pay for that when mm -hmm. you come back because all that fluid that comes up to your chest, some of that goes to your head, literally, and uh, you actually look kind of like a moon face, as we call it. Now, that does get a little bit better after the first few days Two of days flight, but for some back. people like me, mm -hmm. I, I, I had a little bit of a puffy face throughout the mission. So now I have a curious question. So you've been on mission how many times now? Two times. Two times. Right. And how long did you stay in those missions? Uh, the first flight was 199 days wow. on the space station, and mm -hmm. the second flight was just two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. So. Were you able to retain the height when you got, got back on Earth? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. No? Uh, actually, uh, the best I could tell, I had my space height, and then the first chance I got measured uh, for height, which was the day after I landed, I, I was already back to my Earth height. Again, just from standing up and walking against gravity. So within a few days or within the day? Uh, within about 24 hours, within wow. about a day. So that's so dramatic. Unfortunately. Right, I, so we don't get to keep our height. We, we do not get to keep our height. Wow, that's so. interesting. Uh, but if we do definitely <clears throat> go to Mars, we may not see the same growth because you have more gravity in Mars than compared to on the moon. Right, so this is really important. This is why we need people like Dr. Rajulu because we want to be in places where the gravity is different. Sometimes there's no gravity and we float. Right. The moon where there's only a sixth or Mars where there's only a third. In all of those places, we have to be able to, to fit into our spacesuits and to work with tools that kind of depend on our size. And as you can see, our size can change. Right. So it's really amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and learning about your space height and how your human body changes. And until next time, go Mission X!